Hello, hello, Scorpio. Welcome to your mid-2019 overview reading. This is good for you if you're a sun, moon, or rising Scorpio. And while I, I get everything all set up and everything, go ahead, take a moment to subscribe to my channel if you haven't already, and follow me on Instagram and Onyx Healing if you'd care to. Lots of good stuff, more content, more readings, all that good stuff. So I am going to lay this spread out and then we'll get started. But the first thing that I want you to do is just maybe set your intention for what you would like to get out of the reading. Take a deep breath into the diaphragm, check in with yourself, and then we'll get into it. Okay, let's get started. First thing coming up is connect to heart. So what is it that's going on in your heart? What are you wanting? What are you feeling? What is your truth? What needs to be expressed? That is all about connecting to your heart in order to take action in a way that feels good to you, that's in alignment with you, that's going to propel you forward in whichever direction that you want, because that's what we're all doing here. That's why you're probably watching this reading, is figuring out which direction that you're going or getting some support along the way. And the best way to do that is actually connect to your individual preferences, desires, purpose, sense of alignment. So making sure that this next six months is about refining that. And we have nature. It's time to unleash your inner hippie and step outside that man-made box. Take a walk in the woods, smell those flowers, hug some trees. You might think you're being ironic, like, look at me, I'll be, I'm being all tree-huggery and stuff. But you'll find that even then, those trees will hug you back. Trees come from a time before irony, and their earnestness is impervious to our jaded humor. If that doesn't make you want to hug them even more, well, I guess you're a robot. So whenever you're feeling a uh, lack of stability, clarity, or understanding within yourself, remember that nature is always a tool that can help ground you out if you're struggling to do it independently. We also have celebrate. Take a moment to enjoy your accomplishments. Focus on the successes for today. Fixing things can wait a bit. Appreciate creative comrades and show them your gratitude. So slowing down just a little bit in order to get into your personal sense of gratitude and understanding that that is the language of abundance. Appreciate how far you've come. That's going to be a useful tool during this next six month stretch. This spread is much, much, much different than what I've normally done in the past, so I hope you enjoy it. But these three cards in the center, what I want you to do is just pick one. So only choose one card, just tune in to whatever it is that's calling to you. This is going to be the central energy that you carry forward through the rest of 2019. If you pick more than one, it will get muddy. So just pick the one card. If you need more time, you're more than welcome to pause the video. Otherwise, I'm going to get into card number one. We have the three of wands. There's a lot of planning and preparation that still needs to be done with all of this. The three of wands is really great for long-term goals and kind of mapping out the road ahead. But remember that you don't just go from step one to step 50 overnight. Just be patient and remember to celebrate, smell the roses along the way. You know, that's a big part of enjoying the journey that you're on. Because if you're not, while the world is filled with uncomfortable situations, it's also you want to find yourself grounded in something that's supportive and that you can look forward to or hold on to or, or find that in some way for yourself. So that's going to help keep you present and grounded in the now while also supporting you looking into the future and helping you build that. So this is all about future plans for you and how you're taking action on that. Card number two, we have the Six of Swords. I think you are really getting to a place where you're coming out of any turbulence or feelings like things aren't going smoothly or they may have felt as though they weren't ever going to settle down or become consistent. I think that's changing over the next six months. You might see an influx in consistency. You might feel as though things are getting 
better and better and that they're they're getting smoother so the six of swords is about moving from turbulence to stability and i see that as what's happening for you so don't try not to push or rush anything necessarily it's just about kind of feeling into each day each moment and just understanding that things are getting smoother as time goes on Card number three, we have justice, level-headedness, being even-keeled. Remember that your mindset is one of the best tools that you had, so that's what I would use if I were you. Try to look at all different perspectives, all different possibilities. Don't lock into one or become overly fixated on one thing. Maybe open up your mind a little bit more to different possibilities. Beware of making assumptions. Anytime the justice card comes up, it reminds us to entertain different possibilities outside of just what we think might happen or whatever assumptions we might be making. There's a lot of information that you might not have, so allow yourself to kind of see and feel into the full spectrum of information before jumping to any conclusions, making any decisions, making any massive moves. This is a card that really encourages you to act from a place of discipline and level-headedness, being mindful of all different possibilities, not from rash emotions. Now this card up here is what's shifting out of your life over the next six months. We have the Eight of Cups. I think you've already been through a pretty significant mental transformation. This is about a change in perspective. So maybe you woke up to something that you needed to understand in order to progress, or maybe you woke up to something that is um, that you now want to do or you now want to pursue. It's all about the awareness and, and the mental clarity. I think that the shift has already happened. So that's what's phasing out. Let's see what the oncoming energy is for you. We have strength, personal power. This is where things really get exciting just because it's like you have the strength to accomplish whatever it is that you've changed your mind about or that you now have a new perspective on. So it's a nice card to follow up the Eight of Cups. Let me clarify the strength card. Nine of wands. Okay, so I, I really think you're going to need to watch your speed on this. The nine of wands is kind of like you're moving so fast you might trip over yourself. So just try to try to pace things out as you go. I'm getting that you might find that things are moving a lot faster than you anticipated or that things are are compounding a lot faster than you were imagining. So that's a good thing. It's just remember to ground yourself in the process. Like celebrate the small victories and the small wins that you have along the way. Otherwise, you might just look at what the next best thing is rather than appreciating how far you've come and all the work that you've done. Don't forget to celebrate yourself and know that things are going to move quickly. This, this is something that you don't need to apply more force to it. I think it's naturally going to have quite, quite a bit of acceleration in this second half. Now, this card down here, this is a little bit more flexible. This is what you need to know. If you'd like to take a moment to set an intention on which area of your life you want to use this for, you're more than welcome to. Otherwise, it'll just be general what you need to know. We have the star. Man, this has been coming up a lot for people. You want to hold space for the desire. The star is just a reminder that things are working out in your favor. I know it's cliche to say that in a tarot reading. And <laughs> this is just reminding you that it, you want to see things through. Don't call it too soon. Don't call it prematurely. Don't throw in the towel before you see the results of all the work that you've done or, you know, all, all of that stuff. So just wait and see. That's kind of what I'm getting from the star. And then to clarify it, we have the page of cups. Yes. So this card, this really, really reminds me of the the wait and see perspective because the page of cups does not jump to any conclusions because the page of cups is naive in in a way that is really admirable right like being able to wear your heart on your sleeve because you haven't been burned in the past 
it, since this is a Scorpio reading, this is like the antithesis of your MO. But the whole point is that if you're able to come from that space of I don't know yet, I can't jump to any conclusions yet, I'm just going to see where this takes me, or where this situation might go without putting a negative spin on the future, because just because you think it's going to be a bad outcome or it's going to destroy your life doesn't mean that it will, right? It doesn't mean it's going to be as hard as you anticipate mentally. Your brain is going to make things seem and feel more dramatic than they actually are. So just be aware of that. Be aware of what your brain is really trying to do in terms of protecting you and understand that if you come from a place of either neutrality or just understanding, well, I don't have all the facts yet, or I, I don't know where this is going to take me, it can help soften that fear of the unknown. The star is just saying that things are working out for you, that you're on the right path, you're moving in the right direction, and you want to stay heart-centered through this process. So d don't, as Brene Brown says, dress for her tragedy. Don't do that. Don't do that choke back on that, pull it, pull it back when your mind starts to go down that rabbit hole, maybe interrupt it and say, well, let's, let's just wait. I know that seems really scary, but maybe we can just wait and see where this goes. Let's get into the timeline because th this is actually a really nice reading. It's like things are going to really take off in this second half of 2019, whatever you're working on or whatever you're doing. So let's get into first, second, third, and fourth quarter. That's going to be where you end 2019. Each one of these quarters is about six weeks or a month and a half. So let's get into it. First thing, we have the hermit. This is you keeping to yourself. Shocker. You having a little bit more withdrawn energy. Maybe you're not doing all of the things that, that are really... Um, connected or community based, that's okay. It's just about what you're using this energy for. Are you creating something? Are you resting? Are you relaxing? Are you trying to figure out what it is that you want? And you're turning off the external noise. Use the hermit growth period or this this portion of time to do something productive with the retreat. Let's see what the second quarter is. This is the two of pentacles. This has been coming up quite a lot for people as well. And it's about what energy you're drawing to you through the decisions that you make. And for for this card in particular, I'm just seeing this as what you say yes to, you're going to get more of. What you say no to, you're going to push to the side. Be conscious in your decisions about what you're saying yes to, because that's going to bring more people on board. That's what I that that's what I would say or it's going to bring more of that energy into your life. So consciously say yes and consciously say no. It, know that whatever you say yes to is going to compound. Okay? Third quarter, we have the Queen of Swords, independent thinking, independent ideas, really owning your crown chakra, not allowing it to be permeated by anyone around you really, but instead just owning your truth because everyone has their own truth, their own individual understanding of what's best right and true for them. So you're not an exception to that rule. I think this is also about you really carving your own path and doing your own thing. That's an important thing to focus on in this third quarter, not trying to bow down to, I mean, whatever expectation might be external or unspoken, but instead really, again, staying heart-centered through this process, understanding why you're here, what you're doing, what your motive is, and moving through that in, um, in a way that works for you. Wrapping up 2019, the fourth quarter, we have the Ace of Swords, a lot of mental clarity. So I would anticipate, I'm kind of under the impression that you might not have all the information or all the clarity first. It's something that you're probably going to have to take action on here. Like during, during this middle portion and then the clarity is going to come. Then you're going to get the confirmation. So a lot of people expect clarity to come from 
the ether, like <laughs> the the clarity is going to come just one day, you're going to get a big aha and, and all your life's problems are going to be solved. I'm, I hate to burst your bubble, but that's not the case. It's something you need to trial and error. And it seems like that's what you're doing here. The hermit might be a space where you can get some clarity and some idea of what you want to do. But then it, the confirmation piece, the yes, this is the right move, yes, this is the right direction, doesn't actually come until later on after you've taken action, after you've consciously said, yes, I want more of that, or yes, I'm doing more of that. Then you're, you're rewarded with the clarity that you're going in the right direction. That also reminds me of the star as well. It's like you can't see everything right away. You have to be willing to take risks and, and make attempts first. And then you get the pleasure of seeing everything unfold in a way that's working for you. Now let's do a three card pick. This one's more flexible. You can pick as few or as many cards as you want. Ask a question, ask for guidance, whatever it is that you need. Card number one. What is hidden will be revealed. So anything that you're uncertain about or you need more information on, you can expect that to come through. This is a very direct card. There's no mincing words here. It's going to come through. The information will unfold and it will come up. Card number two, we have someone soon. So maybe there's a connection that you've been manifesting consciously or unconsciously. Maybe you're asking for something, but a lot of the time that can come through people. This can also be if you're looking for a partnership, someone soon coming through. But there is a lot of synchronicity regarding relationships with this card. So just keep that in mind. Either the right person is bringing the right opportunity or the manifestation or something that you've been asking for. But it looks like it's the, the personal relationship is involved. And then card number three, we have the all-knower. This card is reading a little bit different than it was before when I pulled this. But for you, I'm getting that you're really going to want to be aware of people who speak in absolutes or try to make you believe that they know everything, right? This is, Earth is a complicated place, right? Being embodied is a complicated experience. So anyone who's speaking in absolutes or trying to rob you of your autonomy is someone that you definitely should take their insight with a grain of salt, this is something that your experience is individual to you, and that's something to be honored and respected. So make sure you're taking that into consideration as you're working through relationships. There is no such thing as an absolute here. Maybe gravity. Maybe that's the only absolute we really have. But other than that, a lot of things are subjective. Your experience is not going to be what other people's experiences are, so make sure that you respect your feelings in these situations and your thoughts, ideas, and perspectives. That's what needs to be considered. Thank you, thank you, thank you so much for joining me today, everybody. I absolutely appreciate you more than you could possibly know. Don't forget, if you didn't watch your all three of your Sun, Moon, and Rising, make sure you check out your other videos. And you can check out your Mars and Venus if you're a triple sign, so if you have the same sun, moon, or rising signs. But I also want to let you know if you are interested in topics about intuition, being psychic, all things esoteric and metaphysical, check out my podcast. It is super, super awesome. I have loved doing it. So please check that out. I would really appreciate it. Don't forget to follow me on Instagram at Onyx Healing. If you need to work with me one-on-one, -on -one, you know I'm always available for you. So the description box has all of the links to work with me as well as my meditations, my podcast, all of that good stuff. And don't forget, if you would like the mid-2019 overview love and relationship reading, those are now out on Patreon bundled with the July reading. So you get two readings in one on those videos if you'd like to check that out. Otherwise, I also do month or weekly assigned specific readings for Patreon as well every Friday. So all of that good stuff is available to you. Check out the description box for anything that you're interested in or if you just want some more content. And 
go ahead and have a beautiful rest of the year, everybody. I am sending you so much support, so much love, and I will talk to you later. Bye-bye.